What's going on everybody here Rob here aka Trave 2323 TRV 2323 subscribe like and share All right, here we are with the Bayliner element. This is the Bayliner E16 It is actually a 16 foot boat. It's a deck boat. It's wider, but we did put the swim platforms on the back so we had the swim platforms on the back and the I think 75 or 85 for 75 I think horsepower motor Family loves it, it's a family boat, stays in the marina. But what I'm showing you over the winter time, you can't even tell. 50 degrees out today, right? But it's January 1st. I didn't do it yet. These are the tire protectors right here. And I leave the tires off of the ground. See, they're off of the ground right now. I have them on the rocks. The reason why I have them on the paving stones, and now I'm gonna move the stone in the middle and put the jack with the rubber piece. See, this is the rubber piece on top of the jack. Okay, I'm putting that under the axle because when you drive with this, if you just leave it all winter long and all season season long with 2,300, 2,600 pounds on it, you're gonna start getting a flat spot on those tires. And you see on the car, we had the gravel underneath the tires because if you just have tires sitting in dirt or grass, they dry rot, they deteriorate a lot faster. So this right here, since uh, November, I think it sat on those rocks. I haven't had time to get out here, but I got the jacks, uh, the jack stands and two three ton jacks underneath this. So that, that, that boat's not even on the ground right now. That's on the three ton jacks lifted up already. But I do that so those tires don't go flat sitting on the ground. And then I put the tire covers over it because when sun hits this all day long sun's gonna dry rot this tire this tire would deteriorate before the tire on the other side because the tire on the other side is not getting any sun like this tire but if they were sitting in the dirt they would have dry rotted already that's why i leave them on there so now I, both of them are lifted up evenly and then so little by little i'm gonna lift them up to get the jack stands on a brick underneath it and then i'm gonna lower it down This kind of on the center of the brick, and this in the center of the axle. I'm gonna set this down a little bit, but leave the jack stand underneath it, and then I'm going to put the other one up. Okay, so they see that's on, and I let it down really gentle. You know, this is why I like this jack better than the other jack. The other jack don't know gentle. The other jack, when you just let it loose, see, sinking into the ground right now, and it's still on the jack. Sinking into the ground, still on the jack. I'm gonna put the other one up now. See, so this one is already on the jack. So now, you gotta move the bricks around, get one out the way, and get one in, all the way in the way. And I put it underneath right between here. Okay, so I have that one set up, but this is the jack that's really hard to uh, to get down. It'll really soft. So you got to go down slow because you don't want it to, to drop down really hard on the... Uh, oh, you don't want it to do that. You don't want it to break the rock. So this one, I just got to take that one down. And you see the tires are off. 
then I gotta put the uh, covers on the tires. Uh, see, there you go. Then I gotta get one more off. That one's already on this jack stand, so this would be easier to come down. Okay, so now another thing that I do is I make sure I have rocks or stones underneath it, even though they're not touching, just in case the rock does crack or they do fall, it falls not like a half an inch down. Now these are the covers for it, and they go on and they cover it so it don't get weathered. But I do that every year for the boat and the boat trailer. Talk to you later. Subscribe, like, and share. There you are. Bob's your uncle.